Hi, I've just spent the last couple weeks trying to figure out how to get rid of the white, chalky, oxidized look from the side of my camper. My camper's got a nice glossy brown fiberglass exterior, and the one side that gets exposed to the sun most when it's in storage at my house was all white and chalky or oxidized or kind of soapy look to it, and it, uh, it really didn't look nice. So I spent a couple weeks trying to figure out what product or tools I could use to get rid of that oxidation. I'm no detailing expert by any means, but I'll share with you the system that works for me, and hopefully it'll help you out if you've got the same problem with your camper. I'm Jason, and this is a Weekend RV Adventures YouTube channel. On this channel, I share some of the adventures we go on, some product reviews and installation videos, and tips and trick videos like this one. So if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified anytime I post a new video, and give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into how I've gotten rid of the oxidation on my camper. First of all, uh, I thought just washing it and cleaning it with soap and water might uh, take that chalky look away, but it's actually embedded into the finish, so that didn't even come close to touching it. When it was wet, it would shine up, but as soon as it dried, it went right back to that dull, uh, chalky look again. So then I tried using some uh, polish I had at home for the car. I have, uh, it's Zeno Brothers Z5 that I tried using. That's for removing uh, swirls and light scratches in a car finish. And again, buffing that in by hand, it didn't even touch it. You could barely tell where I had done. Uh, it was an improvement, but nowhere near what I was looking for. My next step was to move on to a powered tool. My father-in-law has a six inch Black & Decker buffer, so I thought I'd give that a shot. And uh, when he gave it to me, it had a foam pad with it. But I did some research online and found out that a wool pad was better than foam. So I tried the foam, it didn't work, and I went and bought a wool pad. And that gave a significantly better finish than what I had before. The other change I had is I found a product that's designed for uh, restoring finishes and it leaves a polish. So it's a one-step, uh, two-in-one product instead of uh, using a cutting uh, product to remove the oxidation and then a secondary product to follow up and polish it. It's a two-in-one product and that's the uh, Meguiar's One Step. And uh, I'll put the links to that in the video description so if you want to check it out for yourself just go check out the description. But that seems to work really well. So using that with the wool pad and the 6-inch Black & Decker uh, random orbital buffer made a big difference. I'd say it was uh, 50 to 60% better, and I'll put some pictures up of how that looked. But it still didn't get it back to that original glossy look that was on the other side of the camper. So I went one more time and uh, bought a bigger tool. I got a 7-inch uh, power buffer. This one's not a random orbital. So it's, or a dual action, it's just a os or rotating, but it's a lot heavier duty than the Black & Decker unit I was using. And I got some pads with that from Harbor Freight that were a wool synthetic blend. And again, it was an improvement over what I had, but it still wasn't that uh, end result I was looking for. So I made one more change, and that was to go to 100% wool pad. Uh, and it's a medium pad, so it's uh, kind of in between a really harsh uh, cutting pad and a, a softer polishing pad, so it's a medium length pad. But I got that uh, with the seven inch buffer and the Meguiar's one step, and that's finally getting the finish to where I can say I'm happy with it. And you can leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, I think I could go back over it another time and get it even better, but at this point, I've put enough time into this that I'm gonna call it, and maybe next season I'll do this again and try and uh, get it to 100% but I'm at, uh, I'd say, about 90% of where I want to be right now. All right, so here's what I'm using. This is the buffer. It's a 7-inch uh, buffer. It's from Harbor Freight. It wasn't too expensive. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to uh, Harbor Freight where you can check this one out for yourself. And uh, if you want, I'll put a link to something similar on Amazon, just if uh, you want something you can order and get shipped to your house quickly. And then this is the Meguiar's compound I've been using. It's Meguiar's 67 Marine and RV One Step. I'll put it right up here so you can see it nice and close. So that's the compound that I'm using. And uh, again, I'm no professional detailer, so leave a comment down below if I'm doing this wrong and you've got a better way to do it. But what I've been doing is just applying the uh, compound right to the pad, and then I'll set it to the lowest setting. I'll move it around a little bit first and then turn it on on the low setting and just evenly spread it out over the area I'm gonna work. And I've been working in small areas just a little bit at a time to get through. And then uh, once it's kind of evenly spread out and there's no big uh, clumps of the compound, then I'll turn this up to about half speed and just start buffing it in. And then uh, once it's started to buff in, I'll take it up to about three quarters speed 
and finish buffing it in until the compound looks like it's pretty much all gone. I can only see some light swirl marks left after that. And then uh, what I do is I follow that up with a cotton towel and just buff out the remaining compound with the towel and it's leaving a nice glossy finish. So again, I'm no professional, but it's working for me. I hope it'll work for you too. I've got a couple of tips for you if you're gonna do this on your own. The first is, as you can see behind me, this uh, rubber trim on the camper is all white and chalky looking from the buffing compound. That's kind of the look I was trying to get rid of. So to get rid of that, um, the mother's back to black seems to be working really well. It'll shine it right up, make it that glossy black rubber look again. So that's the first tip. Second one is, if you're worried about the decals on your camper, like the uh, ones you see back behind me here, the big red and white and black decals I have, I've had no problem going over those with the buffing compound. Uh, I haven't been hitting them heavy, I've just been going enough to clean the compound off and focusing most of the buffing on the actual fiberglass, but it hasn't hurt them at all. The one spot I did see a problem was the weight and uh, tire tags on my camper. They faded out quite a bit when I hit them with the buffing compound. So I would suggest just staying away from those completely. Don't go over them at all. And uh, you should be fine. The last one is if you're worried about eat, burning through the fiberglass finish, I would say uh, it's pretty hard to do. I've been buffing at the highest speed that this uh, buffer has and kind of just moving it back and forth real slowly over an area. And it hasn't eaten through the finish at all. So I'd say with this combination of a wool buffing pad and the... Uh, McGuire's one-step compound, you should be okay. Just keep it moving, don't hold it still. And lastly is sometimes it'll gum up on you if uh, you get too much compound in one area or if it starts to dry a little bit, it'll get tacky. Just kind of work your way from an area that doesn't have much compound and just slowly work into that area and back out and that'll stop it from gumming up. Otherwise, the uh, pad will grip and it'll pull the pad right off of the Velcro backing on the buffer. Not a huge deal, you just have to start over again in that area. So. Uh, I think that's all the tips I've got. I'll show you a little bit more of how this looks and uh, you can judge for yourself.